On Tuesday, March 2nd, 2010, U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine John Teft and Mrs. Mariella Teft participated in the opening of an important new exhibit called Lost and Found, the Taras Shevchenko Papers. This exhibit includes manuscripts, letters, photographs, and other historical documents belonging to Ukrainian cultural icon and prominent historical figure Taras Shevchenko that had been saved from the conflagration of World War II and preserved in archives in the U.S. for over half a century and have been restored under the Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation. Ambassador John Teft and Mrs. Mariella Teft were warmly greeted at the National Museum of Literature of Ukraine by the museum's director, Mrs. Soroka, and the head of the Shevchenko Institute of Literature of the National Academy of Ukraine, Mr. Zulinsky. During his remarks, Ambassador Teft recited verse from Shevchenko's poem, Testament, in the original Ukrainian, which was much appreciated by the Ukrainian guests at the event. <laughs> In, in, in English translation it reads, Then in that great family, a family new and free, do not forget with good intent, speak quietly of me. Afterwards, Mr. Galchenko, the Shevchenko Collection Project Director from the Institute of Literature, then gave Ambassador and Mrs. Teft a tour of the collection of these objects that had belonged to this early advocate for Ukrainian independence. Ambassador Teft then signed the museum's Book of Honor. During World War II, the Nazis moved the largest part of the Shevchenko House Museum's collection to Europe, but those objects were all destroyed during the conflict. However, the former director of the Tara Shevchenko Museum, Mr. Tarashenko, saved the most precious part of the, that collection, which is the foundation of the current exhibit. He secretly smuggled these objects out of Ukraine in his suitcases as he fled westward in 1943, finally arriving in the U.S. in 1951. These precious items in the Shevchenko collection included original manuscripts, Shevchenko's authentic letters and etchings, rare photographs, and other important papers. One invaluable item is a first edition of Shevchenko's book of poetry, Kobzar, from 1840. This is believed to be one of the three remaining copies of the book and is the only one in Ukraine. Since being spirited out of Europe, this unique collection was preserved by the Ukrainian Academy of Arts and Sciences in the U.S., located in New York, but many were unaware that these items had been saved. Discovered by an astute scholar, they were returned to Ukraine to its permanent home in the Institute of Literature of the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine in 2006. Since their return four years ago, the Shevchenko collection has been closed to the public and to researchers as well. It was first necessary to have conservation experts work with the papers and have museum experts prepare an annotated inventory. The U.S. government, through the Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation, provided a grant to the Institute of Literature of the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine for the restoration of these objects and the publication of a catalog as well. This exhibit marks the first time that these objects, once thought lost, but later found and returned to Ukraine, have been available for public viewing. Since its establishment in 2001, the Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation has supported over 500 projects worldwide, including eight in Ukraine, the largest number of projects of any European country. Over 30 media outlets attended the exhibit's opening on March 2, 2010, and primetime newscasts on national TV and radio carried overwhelmingly positive reports about the opening of the Shevchenko exhibit. All the stories prominently feature the ambassador reciting those lines from Shevchenko's poem in Ukrainian. The exhibit will be open through April 15, 2010.